Greetings and pronouns. I am at Panama City Port. Uh, dropped that load off with foam safely. Uh, now in this port, picking up these things. And it's funny that on paperwork it says to tarp this. These are uh, copper cathodes. So it's, I mean, it's copper, it's basically some steel, but it shows on my load assignment that it needs tarping. So I'm just asking my driver manager to confirm. Uh, it's funny that we are required to tarp this copper, but not the foam. So here they are, copper cathodes. And I got a confirmation that this load needs to be tarped. I mean, come on, look at these. They're rusted. They are steel, I mean, copper metal pieces. They need to be tarped. How crazy is that? All right, we'll see what we can do. And just in time for the rain, these rusted <laughs> pieces of copper are tarped. All right, here we go, Indiana. Seems like we really need these copper cathodes here. Three trucks, this guy, myself, and another Melton driver with the same thing. Yeah. I got uh, overweight assessment in one of the weigh stations for this. This bundle should have been on that side. There's too much weight on this drive axle. Oh man, oh man. All right, learning curve. Just gotta fold my tarps, put it in the box. And I got a next load already. I'm going to Maryland. Yeah. Check out this huge operation here. We got like a million coils. Tarp load. Right, all chained up. Four chains a piece. Now the fun part, tarping. And here we are, folks. Nice and tarped, everything is tight. Okay. They're padded on top there, but hopefully no holes appear. All right, Maryland, here we come. Here we are fam, drop those coils off, easy peasy, rip, uh, tarp stayed in one piece, then rip, so everything is great. Uh, this consignee had about 27,000 coils in there already, so I guess they needed two more. And there's about one other truck, or two maybe, uh, delivered some coils too, so. I mean, it's just beyond my comprehension why they need more coils on top of their thousands and thousands of coils already. Yes, they could be different. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, oh well, I'm happy to bring it to them. Waiting for my next load. It is Thursday, March 4th, 2021 on that thing we call a calendar. What a day, what a day. So, I didn't get a regular load after I dropped those coils off. First I went to TA to try to find parking, but it's paid parking. So I went to rest area, chilled there. Then I got a message saying that I need to go repower this 
person. So I got her address and I went to that address. Long story short, I had to yo-yo with this empty step deck trailer and the truck back and forth from two different places. So I left my step deck or the step deck with the lock, picked up this loaded trailer, left up all my equipment on the uh, truck that got broke down. Uh, this other person, something happened with this truck. So I did a repower re without a person. So that's a first. <laughs> Have you Melton drivers ever did a repower without another person? So yeah, um, a little bit of extra pay thanks to my driver manager Rory, shout out to you Rory, <laughs> and uh, yeah so, and this load has two stops, first one is 5 miles away and the second one is in Pennsylvania which is about 160 miles away I believe, so yeah that's that. Just another repower. Um, yeah, I'm in the tightest rest area here. I don't know if you can see, but like the side of this grass is all driven up, and like it's gonna be fun getting out of here tomorrow. Maybe this driver next to me won't be there, or I mean, we'll see. We have a saying in Russian. The morning is wiser than the night. <laughs> it's much wiser than the night. So we'll have to wait and see till the morning. All right. Check out all these geese. There's a lot. Hey, geese. I better mind the cold. It's about 34, 35 degrees. All right, here we are, final destination, final stop. These guys kind of threw a fit that they didn't want to unload me, but here we are. I'm getting unloaded, just got to fold this blue thing. Hello, yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir, that's all you. All right, here we go. Unloading time. Here we are. At that same big warehouse I was a few weeks ago in Pennsylvania picking up this beauty all strapped down still got to tighten the straps though but um, and won't be using this assistance today not sure why but I got to pull back in there to tarp it and put plastic on it I got, got, got a little bit of an issue here with this box. I can't open that handle. I'm gonna work my magic here to see. It got stuck, it got jammed there because of the binders is like blocking its way. I don't know, let me see. Yeah. After a few talks, we made a deal with this box. <laughs> I had to pry it open with this thing, stick my hand in there and take that binder off, off the little ledge so it doesn't block that thing to open. So I moved the binder to the other side. Now it's nice and nice and well. Still waiting on this guy to move over there so I can tarp. Whew. Check out this masterpiece, you guys. Let me show you the other side. These guys were here before me, by the way. I mean, look at this beauty. Look, just check it out. All right. I like it too. All right, Georgia, here we go. Holy moly. This is one busy. This guy. I was saying, 
holy guacamole uh, check out my parking spot here <laughs> I mean it was open and um, this is the only spot that's left pretty much but this guy's bucked in I mean how do you design how do you design a truck stop like that but I mean I tried knocking on his door to tell him <laughs> I'll move when he needs to leave but maybe I'll leave before him but this is Pennsylvania Hamburg I mean it's, it's a clusterfuck here <laughs> oh my goodness these rigs are all, all, all over the place but I got my load tarped all set my due date is Monday at 11 so I got tomorrow and Sunday to drive so it should be easy stuff I got half a tank so I'm good for today I'll get some in the morning uh, time for a shower and some snacks all right fella <laughs> I hope you understand my parking here do the same in my position. Look at these guys, they're, they're waiting for like five minutes to get out because people are trying to... Yeah, that guy was holding up a spot. He was like, no, it's my spot. I'm like, all right. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely an art of its own, driving one of these things. All right, onward. And it is Saturday. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, I got within 83 miles from the customer, uh, which deliveries do Monday at 11. Um, so actually, I'll get another 34 hour reset here. So that's exciting. I'll just chill tomorrow all day here at Love's. Maybe go to Walmart nearby get some foods, get some snacks, get some fuel for the body. Uh, speaking of fuel, here's what I have here. It is some um, quinoa. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had quinoa, but I didn't. So I made uh, buckwheat. It's called greshka in Russian. I added some beans and some um, spring, spring mix spring mix greens some beans and greens and I also use liquid aminos sometimes which is running low maybe I'll get another bottle but it says contain 16 liquid aminos you probably can't see because it's flipped up huh? oh well well just gonna have to take my word for it I also have some guacamole some organic tomatoes so yeah but mostly I stay raw I eat lots of fruits which I need to get more and um, yeah that's how I survive in this camping style occupation all right and this is where I make the buckwheat it's very convenient, convenient tool on the road. Whenever I want something warm, I just put things in there and bam, bam, it happens quick. Within 10 to 15 minutes, this thing makes almost anything. What's up fam? It is Sunday, uh, end of the week. And um, here's some things that I got from Walmart. I got these Honeycrisp apples. Honeycrisp apples. <laughs> I got about four bags of these things. I love Honeycrisp. Uh, they are organic. I also got two bundles of these bananas. I got about three or four containers of kiwis, golden kiwis. They're so nice. Um, 
a bunch of these dates. I keep about three or four bags at least on the truck. Awesome stuff, dates with tea. They're very nice. I also got two big bags of cuties. They're not Florida oranges, but hey, they will do. And I'm a big fan of this coconut water. It's organic and uh, they come in four packs. I got about maybe two or three or four of these. So yeah. And I got some other things too, like soups and um, some beans, like uh, green beans um, that I like to use and uh, a few other things. That's that. Uh, this is my week and um, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below what you think, what you don't like, what you like, or don't leave anything. I love you the same, honestly. Um, just kind of recording my progress here. Check out this floor. Oh. Check out this floor, it's washed and clean. <laughs> I like to keep it clean, even though it doesn't last too long, but hey, at least for a few days. All right, thank you so much for watching. Best regards, much love, namaste.